Hello, my name is Marty and welcome to Paradoxion. In this video I will show you how to embrace institutions in non-European countries. As you can see we have embraced all institutions up to date. And most importantly our neighbors are two institutions behind us. Let's start with the basics. If you go to the technology panel you will see a label institutions tech penalty and a red number. If the red number is there, it means that you are lagging behind certain institution. If you hover the mouse over the red number, it will say which institutions you are lagging behind. In this case, we are 34 years behind in Renaissance. So, how can we solve that? For example, Renaissance spawns in Italy after the start of the game. Each Northern Italy province has a fixed chance of the institution to span each year. Now let's talk about the stages. The first stage is institution shown up. To shown up in a province the institution must meet certain conditions and those conditions vary from institutions to institution. If we click the institutions button on the technology panel we will see how the institutions are doing across the world. So, for example, let's click Feudalism. As you can see, there are white stripes on certain provinces. That means that the institution is growing on those provinces. All institutions spread across the world in a different way, but all of them jump from one province to another province, that is, neighbor. Also, ports jump to nearby ports. Let's go back to Renaissance. If we click Renaissance we see that there is no Renaissance anywhere near in this area of the world. So, how do we speed up that? Well, the solution is quite simple. You must save up a lot of more point. Then you must find a suitable province a suitable province is a province with huge development potential. And what is huge development potential? Well, it's a province with good terrain, a port if possible, and a capital if possible. Also, the less developed, the better. So, finally, let's embrace Renaissance. Okay, now that we have just picked the target province, you must stack all the development bonus that you can apply. For example, you go here and you apply the Dict Encourage Development. Okay? Also, if with your religion you can do that, you must. But now, let's apply a few monarch points in development. And here you will see this button, Institutions. And as you can see, we have augmented our Renaissance level on the province, but still we have 0, 0.0 growth. And that is why, because the Renaissance goes from one province to another only if he, it has reached 100%. So the only solution we have is to keep dropping points here until Let's see now, we are close, but we need more points, even more points, and we run out of points. So we must wait a few years. Let's see now. It's close. Okay, we got Renaissance on that province present. Now, if we swap to this 
let's go here technology tab institutions renaissance and as you can see we have embraced renaissance on this province and it's moving in this direction so what we can do now is of course develop this province it will go faster but also we can apply an edict um, this edict will increase renaissance speed in these provinces so now it will slowly cover the, the nation once we got 10% of our nation with renaissance we can just bite by pressing sorry again renaissance and we press this button it will cost more money the less renaissance we have so we can wait a little bit more <coughs> and it will be much cheaper so let's now do the same with colonialism I pick this province because it has not so much development and now I will apply the edict encourage development and we'll start champing the province infra Let's see how are we doing. We are halfway. And now as you can see is present. So let's go to the technology panel and choose well as you can see now it's a better place because it's spreading in many provinces at the same time and of course we can apply the edict to improve the advanced speed in all this province and that will improve the, the the embracing of the institution all across the nations when we are satisfied with the cost that we are going to pay if we want to pay zero money we must wait until all the nation has developed the institution and that's all uh, I would like to add uh, colonialism is quite special because you can develop it before Europe if you are a nation nation for example as Japan, China or Korea you must only acquire the idea colonialism and you must explore and establish a colony in America once you do that after the year 1500 you have the same chance per province as any other nation like Portugal and you have a chance to be the one that embraced colonialism before Europe and you will slow them down a lot and now let's go to the other ones now you may wonder how much can you pay in excess for um, the maximum is there a cap yes there is a cap for example now I haven't developed at all printing press and just appear global trade so they are cumulative each one of them can reach a maximum of 50 that means 50 years but if you in this case for example I did, I'm not developing global trade it will be 10 20 and the maximum of another 50 so I could spend even 100% more if I stack two of the institutions but these institutions are a bit easier to get for example if we check the again the institutions and let's see the printing press as you can see in our capital has already started embracing the institution and I haven't developed it so what's happening that's because the rule of this kind of institutions to spread is much easier than the one of colonialism and renaissance for example global trade champs from all the global trade nodes around the world everywhere so it's very easy 
and for this one we need just manufacturers so the two big difficult are the first two ones uh, Renaissance and colonialism and you have to help printing press like here for example it starts very slowly so as I have shown you before you can just drop a ton of points here and will start spreading much faster okay guys that's all and thanks for watching I'm Martin and do videos for Paradox Games bye bye